Let's go see Joyce. Do you want to do Joyce or do you want to talk? Do you want to <gasps> flirt? Speak to her first, yes. Hey, everyone. Hey. We're going to flirt. You want to flirt? Do we know what? I think it was suggestion. The type of check check is. Oh, the sea's going to calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind suggestion. is turning southeast. Okay. What's on your mind, officer? So let's put a point into suggestion and obviously put all the garments on. Here we go. This is what Iz has been waiting for. Did it I save it? It is. I don't know. I'm going to save it before I put the point in. Woo, that wind's a bit intense. Yeah. If I didn't have a cat on my lap, I would close that window, but... Do you want me to close it? Oh, Up this to is going to calm down no. soon. Oh, sorry. I can feel it. Well, you put the suggestion stuff on. No, it's kind of like a whole drama. to close it. Um... Yeah, no. don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. I put a point in... And clothes. We must have at least one or two suggestion items, right? Yeah, I right? think we do. I can't remember what colour it is. Blue? Mm. Went, oh, minus. Purple, so it's a purple. If I had much more time on my hands, I'd be like calculate yeah. how much time we spent in this entire game checking every single item for what stats they I have. don't find it I know that like, you're driving but I actually don't find it that, that onerous because I don't find it onerous but I worry about annoying the people who are watching well I mean it feels like a, an important part of the game that's true okay we've only got that one item I guess so it's well, pretty brutal it is a bit brutal but we're gonna oh, see how we go. gonna calm down soon I can feel it Fuck. the wind Ooh. is turning south why is it so low what's on your mind officer <laughs> well you know we've had double uh we've had s snake eyes a few times lately maybe we're this is some the time double for I don't know what what you call double sixes does it have a name like snake eyes the best let's go ahead let's go Alcohol oh. man. That's exactly what she needs. Now make her see that. Oh no. She's not let's just pick one of the ones we haven't done before. Okay. Um I wanna be close to you, but there's one way to intimacy. Uh, what? Trunk date, tap your throat. All we need is booze, the rest will follow. Oh I'm no. Not keen on this Funny. At all. Funny sailor jokes. Sorry if I'm not laughing out loud. But the comedy has worn thin over the years. Okay, well. Great. Now you reminded her of the husband. Well, Oops. exactly. What did you think was going to okay. happen? She just hasn't figured out how these things work between the sexes. Keep at it. She'll come around. I reckon, as a, if you want to try that again before the game is over, we should say to ourselves we need to find another suggestion item. Yeah, because it will make a significant difference, eh? Yeah. Mm. All right. Goodbye. Now we're going to find Joyce. I mean, if it opens up questions. for whatever reason, like uh, let's not put another point in it. But if a, if it opens, I see what you're saying. Yeah, then yeah. there's no harm in it as a wide. Who the? F this is Joyce. What? What, what? are you doing here? Who is I'll this? I'll just keep the cordelachi in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. She winds the mooring line around a post. What, what are you doing here, Joyce? Hi, ma'am. And it's a jetty, by the way. Of course. Jetty. I prefer a good jetty to appear any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Oh no, Joyce. Okay, Joyce. Apparently the difference between a wharf and a... Is it jetty? Is like one is made of wood and one is made of concrete. Huh. Something about the way she says it makes you want to sing. Jet, jetty, jetty. Oh, jetty, oh, jetty. She responds mournfully. It's good to see you here, Detective. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here? Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks now, so I decided to investigate it personally. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps, as far as I can tell. But we know that she had some sort of romance with someone in this area, eh, when she was mm. younger, so she probably knows about it. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. Have you been spying on me? Spying has such a negative connotation. I did track your progress along the coast, however, and decided I would be better able to assist you from here. Okay. 
Thanks. Maybe she's trying to avoid the um, bloodshed of uh, Titus mm. versus the uh, Then other there's guys. the matter of that little scamp in old lady clothes. She threatened to paint the cordillate she read. Uh -huh. <laughs> like blood, you see. Well, I like it the way it is. White. Uh -huh. What is this? Destruction of property? Hooliganism? Elder abuse? Uh, that's just Cindy being Cindy. You can ignore her. <laughs> it's just as well. Lillian and I are getting on much better. For one, she appreciates the concept of rent. Okay, so how do you like it here? Hmm. How do I like it? She cast her gaze towards the village, slush melting on the cinder blocks. Construction work ha left half finished ten years ago. Water drips down eaves of Etonite. The jetty below her feet creaks to the tune. The smell of salt and dog shit in the background. It's pornographically poor. The street has no name. All the men are dead or missing. And is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there? Shh. We're just helping the vibe. She's got to her eyes. I'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet. Maybe she will. You should ask your questions while you can. Mm. Dark eyes survey the coast leading up to Martinez. Dull grey metal rests in her scabbard. A sword. The wind is too loud for her to hear. All right. Politics time. Let's react. Yes. Real men. Real politics. Real thoughts in your head. Um... I don't know what to say. I think maybe three. Um, yeah. Try not to be scared. This is just how the real city looks. Oh, I'm not frightened, officer. I'd never... She leans against the railing, looking up at the grey sky. Above you, there forms a quilt of alto cumulus clouds, twisting into each other. The wind tugs and stretches them over the bay. Their cloud shadows slide over the ruins of Revachol West. Except Wherever they pass, the temperature drops slightly, but perceptibly. Have I told you how they discovered this place? The wind picks up her raincoat, coat flaps in the gust. So I don't know what one she's referring to. We can just pick one. This fishing village? No, the Insulindian Isola. No, you haven't told me how they found it. Well, your condition has left you no worse off than most of these people. <laughs> the literacy rate is around 45% west of the river. 50 years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. Um, yeah, but we've talked about that, you know, being able to read and write is not the only way to gain and obtain knowledge. That's true. Mm -hmm. um, I do like both of these options. You pick what you like, then. Um, do you have a preference, though? Because I do like them both. Maybe oblivion? That's so me. I knew you would sympathise. Most Revacholians will never know what this place means. Our home. This island of matter. Or why they were ferried over in the first place. Ooh. Wasn't that what um, Dolores Day was involved in? Remind me to tell you one day. Today's the day. For now, how can I assist you in this new location? Tell me now, I have time. I hear you have singled out a suspect and are in pursuit. This is cause for cautious optimism. I would not want to delay you. Look, it's, it's 1 a.m. AM. Just tell us what we want to know. This story she will tell only before she leaves Martinez at the uh, very end of her stay. Okay. Maybe there is something else Ooh. I can assist you with while you're hot in pursuit. This is yep. this is our uh, pale thing, right? Where yeah, is seven, it? seven. I've got some more questions about reality. More lessons in basic reality? My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. Now we're alone, what is pale? Are you sure you're sure? Your colleague seemed adamant. We're Did ready. What, what is the pale? Okay. The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world. Looks like we've detectives. done this. Looks like we've done this. The separative tissue between the Islers. It is the inter Islery mass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. We have done this, so we'll yeah. just skip back to... Achromatic, odorless, featureless. 
The negation of being. That's right. The negation of being. Yes. So is this the okay. first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? Uh, I'm getting a sense of who I am, but no, I didn't know that. Beyond curious. Tell me, what do you think of the pale? Right, so last time we said it was disco. Let's say something else, because we know more about it now, too. Um, let's read through our options. It's terrifying. It will end all life. Uh, that we continue to persist at all as a testament to our faith in one another. Its advance can only be stopped with immediate, immediate total ruthless communism. <laughs> a powerful anti-communist force, perhaps too powerful, but still they have it coming. I'm worried. I have to say, it doesn't sound very liberal to me. I don't know how you've all survived with it. It's a huge accomplishment. And then who am I to think anything of it? I kind of like number four and number eight. I agree with four, so let's do that. All right. Mm-hmm. Her eyes tense, crow's feet radiate from them. She observes you, your bloodshot eyes and swollen face. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then... She stops mid-sentence. Well, last time we said the best option, which is mm. uh, this will be our masterpiece. But let's just say it's under control. I hope so. I truly do. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him, and he is very competent. Me no. In the meanwhile... Some of that assurance is meant for herself, as much as it's meant for you. She must have a lot on the line here. You have me. I will assist you in any way I can, All right, even look... if we have to do it one basic term at a time. All right, let's look at some of the ones we haven't done yet. Uh, so we've got, what was the RCM again? Uh, which I don't think we really need to know. I kind of want to see what she has to say about okay, the RCM. Okay, let's ask. Nothing more nor less than oh. the de facto law enforcement body of post-revolutionary Revachol. Again, I don't detective. know why this is saying, like, at the start it's saying we haven't done, but then once we're in it, it's... Anyway. Yes. That means not de jure. The RCM acts in what is poetically called the Twilight of International Law both at the behest of the coalition government and to its chagrin. So we've gone through this before as well. This last the other, um, yeah. That's it for the who I am part then. Permit me to conclude with this. Who you are to me is the police, the only legitimate law enforcement authority in Revachol. But only barely legitimate. <laughs> and if those authorities drink so hard they need help recalling the basic terms of reality, well... I am here to help. Okay, so I want to know what you are. Hmm. She won't maneuver her way out of this one. What are you? I am the vilest of the vile. Ooh. Mm. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. Why do you choose to do that, Joyce? I am an ultra. Wait, what's an ultra? We've learned a bit about this, but the weight usually gives us a little bit more information. Wait, what is an ultra? An ultra liberal. It's a type of liberal uh, from the revolution. It's uh, not the moderate kind. Um, Can I do this? <laughs> sure. Dios mio. Uh, draw a cross. A liberal. Yes. I am the nether creature of the forbidden swamp. I pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. We My kind some of surrendered the nation to financial colonists. I can see you thought our kind were all extinct. After all, no sane person identifies as this anymore. Not in broad daylight. It is just 1 a.m., so it's probably fine. I can see we're not so different, you know. Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, do you find me frightening? Not frightening. I find her disappointing. In her green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self-satire. Decades of guilt and pride. Mm. Forgive her. But only because you like pearlescent teeth and those light green eyes. Ooh, uh, sorry, our options are you're a monster, I forgive you, I forgive you, but only because you're charming and I don't care. I kind of like three, because <laughs> it's kind of like being... It's sort of like, um, it, it's calling out our own shallowness in the yeah, situation. Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't know if it'll be read that way, but let's, let's see. Mm. A devil. 
who, being of great charm and guile, sneaketh into the homes of the godly. That dialect is obeisant. You recognize it's a quote from somewhere. A play written way back in the Franco-Nigerian century. And, like, we don't have the right... We've kind of talked about this before. We don't have the right to forgive her. She affected, you know... Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. We're anyway. just one random... Mm. <laughs> guy who's not even grinning horribly anymore. <laughs> Beneath her waterproof raincoat and silk shirt is a body imbibed in numb 12 perfume. You are suddenly and intimately aware of it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, we can ask her to fuck? Is that what you were laughing at? Yes. Dang. So, hang on. I, <laughs> I really... Oh. Do, do we... I'm so torn. I really want to... I mean, he, she's not going to sleep with us. We smell bad. We, we've had a... Sh no, we don't know that. Oh, we did clean up. We didn't. Ha we haven't had a shower, but we, like, washed clean ourselves cloth. in the basin. I'm, I'm really torn because, like, even if she says no, I do kind of want to say this. But mm. I also really like the idea of... Knowing the rest of the sentence? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm also torn. It's sexy in its own way. I really love number three, but remember, we're going to have the wild playthrough. We will, but will we get to this option? We may never. We may never get the chance to say this to her ever again. All right, I'm going to click on it. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes! Steal, kill, and destroy. <laughs> that they say we've been doing for over four decades now. Perhaps regrettably. I've had my fill for this century. What does that mean? She In finished. Any case, I'm glad we can remain collegial despite my scaly bulk <laughs> and my perverse need to infiltrate and betray both kingdom and revolution. She finished. She she spoke as if she was finishing the sentence. Want to fuck, steal, kill, and destroy? Uh oh! <laughs> she just flew over. Me. No, no. I think she was purposefully like der derailing because it's who she counters. Uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I think she. Okay. Yeah. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. This was all our last generation managed. Would you have done something differently? With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery. While a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east, light drizzle washing it clean, lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez, mm. and not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. Then for my daughters, oh. we had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Mm. Sovereignty. Big issue uh -huh. in many parts of the world. Dark orange flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil fire on the ocean. I presume we'll come back to this because mm -hmm. I really want to ask this question. Try one of the top ones. Yeah, you're a smart woman. Perhaps. My intellectual vanity will be my undoing. Mm. Probably. You're no dummy yourself. Um. <laughs> just say so am I. That makes no fucking sense. Uh, intellectual vanity will be my undoing. And the crown on your head as you lay okay. in the casket. Okay, you're a patriot. Yes, I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. Mm. I get that. You have daughters? Yes. Whatever else I am. I'm also a mother. And a wife. Ooh. Now, should we return to reality? We've got one left and let's get into it. Um, she's married and has daughters. Mm. I feel like that is really interesting. Because I feel like she... Is so cynical. You know? No. 
Sorry, yes, I do think she's cynical, but I have I, I don't understand how, how that clicks into. I guess I guess I'm surprised on a certain level that she thought that reproducing was a good idea. No, you dig deeper because um, um, because why? Because I feel like she's very. Um, she's very cynical about the future oh. and cynical about I don't think she has a lot of hope um, I think that's now she's she's in her 70s probably 60s, 70s right? Right, so you think maybe she had more of those feelings when she was younger maybe um, what's all this? what's this? spread your hands a bird? a Svenisit? A flightless bird of the polar regions? I keep guessing. Some sort of krill hunter? No, wait. You're an ancient ruin. A symbol of hubris and decay. Half submerged in some salty sea. That, that seems fair. Mm -hmm. Are you saying I'm ruined? Of course you're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. <laughs> I mean, what is this place here? This place is an unmarked micro-settlement on the coast of Martinez. She gestures towards a collection of cinder block dwellings covered by highly carcinogenic roofing material. It's lovely, really. I'm thinking of buying it. Really? Yes, so I can spite Everard and spoil his plans for this place. <gasps> I'm I wonder if we can person, tell her about I the admit. letter. Oh, oh, maybe that's a bad idea, though. I'll never he get said we could tell it. it. The information you pass to me will remain confidential. Let's get back to reality. Oh, I think we shall have we? told her about it. Oh, of course, I think we did. I think, which we is why like, she says, "I want to spite him." Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We were like, we sent a letter for him, and then we were like, "Don't worry, we." We tricked it or something. And, and Kim and, was like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but also she was like, how delightful. Yeah. Okay, so we've asked her everything we can without going through these things uh, exhaustively. So this is everything we want to shoot assistance. Start, right? The little that I know. Anything cool. else? Nah. That's all for now. I wonder if she's been here every night and we just haven't known. Maybe. Um, okay, it's 1.13 a.m., Bedtime. Shall we go to bed? Yeah. Is there anything else we wanted to do at night? No, right? I don't think so. Yeah, alright. Well, let's go to bed then. We've done, yeah, there were three things. The expression, try and get a date, speak to Joyce. It's We've getting cold. Cool. Do we want to try interacting with these again? The plate? Yeah, alright. Because we tried to shave, On but the then table. we were oh, worried we were going to... Oh, it's locked. A rough soap, oh, but... and next to it, a okay. You don't want to do that? Spend our single point? We don't even have a point, never mind. To sleep! A chance the to dream. Is comforting. Which we probably will. Which run down. Still, you've earned a rest. Go to sleep. How many days are we on now? <sighs> this will the be day five, I think. The place almost like home into. now. Quiet and dignified around you. A new life by the seaside. You're incredibly tired. The darkness and warmth come fast. You're falling asleep. First thing we can do is speak with the washerwoman, though, in the morning when comes back. What will our spirits... It's easier this time. ...say to us? Drifting off, your head has found a comfortable indent in the pillow. Your legs and your torso feel like lead weights sinking to the bottom of the sea. Until they're suddenly light. This respite, you've earned it, brother. Bask in the darkness. Let it swallow you up and swivel you around while you forget everything you've managed to remember. I'd like to say this one. Yeah. Which makes, which, which, which creeps me out. Like, is this the last night we get? Ooh. Um, it might be. This would be the point where I stop playing the game. No, <laughs> no, you can't do this to yourself. No. Ah, is this 
the last room? No. Ooh. This is the one before Ooh. that. We'll just keep cycling it for you that if you don't stops. mind. As long as we can. Spin it like black yarn. Enjoy it while it lasts. Thank you, darkness. Thank you. You're welcome, Harry boy. You earned it. We fall into a deep, unter uninterrupted sleep. After centuries of darkness, the alarm rings. But what's this? You actually feel rested. There's no time to cuddle with your pillow, however, or as much as shiver from the cold. The world awaits. Oh I feel gosh. victory! We, we got through the, um, well, you know, the drug withdrawal, and we've had a good sleep! Oh. It feels like you that might that be is. the first time in a long time for Harry that he's had a good sleep. Go. Open your eyes. I wonder if he looks more rested. No. Oh well. Okay. Here we are. Nice job. Come on, Harry. Um, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's go. Let's go, Mario. Do we want to be wearing the police outfit? I mean... Alright, here on. There's... Let's get Kim. Good morning! Can we talk to him about the bullet? Oh, that's a good idea. Yes? Uh, he seems to just kind of know things that we learned overnight, so let's just assume that he does know. He knows everything. Um, I will save, because stuff stresses me out. Um, well, should we find out if it's a, it's a check Our of some kind? Policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Why was there a bullet under the floorboards of your shack? Damn that girl. Oh, okay, it was Rose. Yeah. But it? Okay, he didn't know. The lieutenant turns to you and gives you a little nod, then turns to the washerwoman. You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Gone and hid things in there? She's usually a good tenant, and not a stupid one either. You rented the room to her? Yes. I let my room to that ruby girl. She speaks slowly, wringing out a rag after a long silence. Her hands move in the water bucket. Some water slushes over the edge. As I've done before when she's been in trouble or just looking for solitude. I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. When was this? She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself into, that girl? And she shit. seems genuinely worried about her previous tenant. She's seen her hiding out from trouble before. But this seems different. Mm. That's for the police to find out. Right there. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. Okay. I'm sure we have a few. Great. Okay. Let's just work through them. Mm. You said she left on Monday. Yes. Early with it? the dogs. Around 8 o'clock, I think. With the dogs? She's got dogs? She probably heard the Lieutenant's Kanema drive by, and it woke her up, just like it did you. Okay, so four or five days ago. She must have heard your Kanema. Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. It lets the bad guys know when you are coming. <laughs> His voice is tinged with pride. <laughs> he doesn't mind that the suspect got away because of him. Uh, is the room exactly as she left it? I cleaned it, like I always do. Was there anything else there? No. The truth, sire. What does she like, Ruby? She's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation. So I really appreciate that about her. Mm. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. What do you mean? She tried not to let it show, but I could tell she hadn't come to fish. Usually she likes to cross a few lines, but this time she mostly stayed in her room. She was trying to hide. Because, mm. um, of course, Harry was running around that week, right? Mm. Um, 
Why do you think she left the bullet there? How would I know? She's a gruff one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. She looks back towards her shack, thinking. It's interesting, because that lines up with what um, Titus said, that mm -hmm. she doesn't carry a gun. Mm. You could ask her about your hunch, that it was a desperate measure. See if she thinks Ruby fits the bill. Okay. I have a possible explanation in my mind. I do tell. A seagull flies overhead, obviously a bad omen. It's an exit plan. Exit from what? The world. The lieutenant stops writing for a moment. He looks at you, then at the old woman. No, she's a fighter. Okay. She really believes that. All right. Did Doesn't she... necessarily mean she's right, but she believes that, right? Mm -mm. Did she have any technical equipment with her, like radio stuff? That's a great question. Not that I knew of. Though she was into nice music. She once showed me a few mixtape milieu she'd made. Milieu! Mm -hmm. She brushes her forehead with the back of her hand. Water drips to the ground. Although I guess she was pretty handy with the mechanical and technical stuff. Even fix the heater in the shack. You should be thankful for that. Oh, yeah, uh, we've noticed it on more than one occasion. Yeah, and it was like a fancy heater of some kind. She may simply have kept the equipment elsewhere. Mm. There was a... Was there a toolbox inside... Or am I thinking of Kin's Kinema? Toolbox inside her uh, lorry? Yeah, maybe. Where did she go? I don't know. Further up the coast. She tried to leave quietly... But the hinges on that door screech like a cat in heat. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. I mean, north. There's, not, there's not much up there. Although, there is that building that a couple of episodes ago, you probably don't remember this. I just happened to press tab when we were passing that big building that... Oh, uh, the top, the glass there at the top. There were some stairs that we could see, but we couldn't see uh, any way to get in. Uh, Maybe she's inside there. It's a peninsula. She might be trapped. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast like the back of her hand. You only just arrived. That's true, and I did just get lost the other day. Her I wouldn't without worry mouse. about that, ma'am. We are persistent. Okay. Um, uh, fill up the coast we go then. Are you sure you would rather stay here? Get a nice cozy fire going in the heater? Seems like a better idea to me. As long as she's telling the truth, right? But anyway, about where she went. Self electric neural. Ah! You feel like you should go look at it again. Oh. Step closer this time. Well, now we know we might be actually be able to do it. Mm. Mm. Um, I guess we do have we... a few more questions about Ruby. What more do you want to no. know about okay, that we don't. girl? Yes, let's... One thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. She looks around, the air is getting colder. We don't... She really means it. It's an honest plea. We don't really have a motive for Ruby. She's a good girl. Ruby. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. Yeah, nice. All right. Okay. Should we go, we've got like we 10 minutes. Should we go for a romp? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Slightly Let's shorter up on this one, friends, so that um, Momo can go do fun things. Will I get lost immediately? Oh, it's probably something we've seen. That's a Nolan Vincent, an unsuccessful model. Hmm. I was just thinking, like, why have we got multiple Kinemans on the ground? Oh, here's another poster, I would say, for our man Vanek. There's a slit in the concrete here, a sewer? Oh! The light vanishes inside the concrete slit. What? The structure goes deep under the earth. Yell ho! Into the slit. There's no echo and no answer. Um, Kuno was talking about, like, underground Ooh. safety places. What's in there? Maybe it's just a storm drain for the sewer. Kim, any idea what's down there? No idea. Could be connected to one of the buildings <gasps> around here. I think we might find Ruby down there? We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. 
Revachol sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. Hmm. That's useful information. In conclusion, she could be under any building. But not in there. I hope not. Uh, well, I mean, like, yeah, it'd be fucking cold, right? Finish thought. It's snowing. Yeah, yeah. Um, let us continue. You can still interact with the phone. I wonder mm. if there's any more people to call. That's a great. I think it's the big building that's down here. I could be wrong. Right at the top. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. See there's the stairs. stairs. But it did tell us to come have a look at the mural and get up close to it, right? Yeah. I don't know why I'm so savvy this episode. I'm just like, I gotta save before I do anything. It feels that we're, like you we're coming to a sort of a peak a of things. Bright yeah. Mural towering above you. The signage has a slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Now, only a shadow of peeled letters remains. It says, Tomorrow is just a whisper away. These guys may have seen someone too. Step mm. closer. Above the mural, a collapsed roof. Broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall. And the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. Feld Electrical. How ironic. All these dark rooms. Hmm. Feld Electrical. You only know them as a small company that makes ink cartridges. Looks like they used to be big. Mm -hmm. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Why do I feel like I know this place? Indeed. Somehow Ooh. you knew it was here. An urban ruin gutted by looters that once used to consume money and dispense warmth and light. You felt it before when it rained in Martinez and you felt the cold of the rain. The feeling persists. It has been in you ever since. Could huh. Ru Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. No, Why we've got a vibe. This one building? <gasps> yes! Let's Look go. at all of these things! We, we can only fail on snake eyes. Can I, can I, hang on. Show me, show me again. Show me again! I wanted to read what they all were. Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't scroll any direction and get a... Here oh, go. here we go. We got plus three because we found the empty trap. Oh. Oh, we thought someone had messed with it. We got plus three because we heard Lena's true story. We got plus one because we reconstructed the execution. We plus two because we made an awful call. Plus one because we confronted the pigs. Two because we established the night plot club. Two because we discovered the anomaly. Three because of the death notification. Remember we went and told that lady her husband had died. Oh, and plus one because we found the jacket. Oh my gosh. As it as says, we can only lose if we get a snake eyes. So. I don't think it's even bother putting on the items. Let's just roll. Yeah. Even though Yay. you're sure you succeeded, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. But we know. What was I even attempting to do here? Trying to talk to the wind. The city. Whatever you thought would happen did not. And now you're just standing there, in the pale of the morning, with your hands fallen to your side. Mm. Shut up, Shivers. You're the one we were trying to talk to. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? <laughs> yes, yes. Is sure. it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? Pretty sure Look, we've communed with the city before. So. Don't hassle our vibes. Our vibes are quality vibes. A prayer of sorts. To Rivershaw. Turn to the lieutenant. She could be anywhere. How do we find her? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. Okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor areas on our wild cryptid hunt, so we have an understanding of the geography. At Damn least. right we do. So it was actually helpful, yes. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can yes. rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way. Sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first. 
like we did in the village. Yes. And if that fails, if we don't find her. We do also know, as well as this this curiosity, um, there's also that building up by the radio tower that mm. has a locked door. That's true. We do want to try and get in there, don't we? And if that fails, if we don't find her? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, town mm. drainage, displays. I'm sure it won't come to that. He looks behind him at the dark red box crumbling it across the chasm. Okay, so he's considering this as one of the buildings we cannot enter, mm. and thus it's lower down the list, but Walk I think it's coast, pretty high the up the list. The old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. Shivers, don't sass us because of yourself. An adventure awaits. An adventure on the windswept urban coast. Okay. okay. We do still want to find those bullet locations. Buckle up and so. raise your collar. This search is going to be wet and cold. So I presume this is locked now? No. Let's go. Impossible. But we succeeded. It's 97. We can do it again. Okay. Let's try. Suddenly, there's a sigh carried on the molecules around you. I wanted you, to have an adventure. Moving, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just wondered what it was going to say. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. Where does it go? Maybe that sequence was designed in such a way that if we hadn't done all of those things yet, because that was a impossible 20, mm. like it would have been really, really low, and then it's sort of like the game saying... Go do other shit first. You need to go do all the things mm. before you do this. But we already have! Uh, where does it go? In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the boardwalk, its winding tunnels, a whisper away. What is happening? She's down there. Mm -hmm. I think she's down there below this building. Okay. Why? Uh, yeah, ever since I woke up, maybe even before I've been getting these strange cold spells. Good, good, yes, cold spells. So basically your hangover is telling you she's down there? Call it a gut feeling. Huh, could I say the wind told me? All right. So, how do we get in there? <laughs> just the doors were on the collapsed <laughs> side of this building. <sighs> They're gone, basically. Okay, well, we definitely don't want to try climbing this. That's no, like that looks... death sentence. Death but I'm pretty tetanus. sure there's like a door back here somewhere finally my time to shine okay so uh, fair. well apparently that's what we're going to offer up there's a ladder next to the sign point to it perhaps we can climb it into through the roof perhaps you can climb them we are not climbing anything <laughs> i'm 43 years old and i plan to live to see 70. yeah uh -huh. fair. that's fair can I can interact we, with oh, them? Oh no, God, you need gonna, to put every fucking physical instrument fucking on there. Die. Yeah. We are absolutely gonna die. What's the time? Oh, this might be a good spot to stop it. I think it is a good spot to stop it. I know you hate leaving things on cliffhangers, but I think this Shall is... we talk to these guys just in case they've seen something? Yeah, right. Hello. Isn't this a fine morning? Oh yeah, ask him for advice. Do you have any advice on how to climb that ladder? Point to the one next to the mural. How to climb that ladder, you see? I do know that uh, Loman Thangs used sticks to climb battlements. There's even a special technique for that. Hmm. Uh... Can you teach me? Do you have the sticks with you? <laughs> no, no. I'm just speculating theoretically here. Of course, there's also the method ancient Ilmarans used to get into the huts of their enemies. Wicked cool. Can you tell me about this method? If I'm not mistaken, then it involved months of following a very rigid exercise regimen. <laughs> No, years. I don't have years to spare. In this case, I suggest looking into the Seolite Invisibles class. The word <laughs> refers to their remarkable ability to traverse any environment in the most efficient way possible. This is excellent investigative piece of journalism by... I don't have time to read any papers. Don't you have any practical advice? Yes, I have. There was this one time where I... Oh, no. Oh, no. You've made El Bigo Mistaco. He's going to go on forever. <laughs> Mark my words. All of this somehow ties into the history of Occidental financial okay. markets. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you know sure. of an alternative way into the building? Alternative? I don't even have a mainstream way in, I'm afraid. Although, 
He points, points to the guardrail to the sewage runoff there. There's a sewage pipe there. Maybe that does something? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help more. You know what? Good enough. I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? No, I'm afraid I can't help you with this one, officer. It's just a regular day off for me and Mikael here. Yeah, and it has been for six days, but okay, sure. whatever. So you haven't seen anyone around? No, I'm sorry. As I said, this is just a day off. We just arrived anyway. Trant, you fucking liar. There's something friendly and familiar in how he says that. Mm. A day off. He's telling the truth. He hasn't seen anyone. Okay, that was perfect. Nice. Got a bit of information. There's this, we can check out the sewer on the next one. I think yeah. we should do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm like, okay, I want to touch everything. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to know if any of you played it in such a way where you did have a gap between that first shivers check and the last shivers check. Like, mm. whether it was like, yeah, you have to go and do a whole bunch of stuff and then come back. Um or whether you all had the same experience of it as us, where you just had already done all the things. Mm. Um, we're on day six. We've been told by our dreams that we may have one more. <gasps> Maybe. 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 As I say, this is where I would stop playing the game. No. <laughs> you, you, no, look, I think maybe in some games you might, but the way, like, you are fully invested. You want to click on this thing, you want to yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think you'd yeah, put yeah. it down. I think you overestimate the ability, because I'm putting it down now mm -hmm. to stop playing for the day, because the day has more things. Uh -huh. And then I'd be like, oh, but if I go back, it'll be the end. Oh, no. And I want it to never finish. Fuck. So oh, I just fuck. never play it again. Friends, uh, we're going to leave it there, but I wish for you that you have someone in your life who will help you play the end of video games. Yeah. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> See you Bye. <laughs>